Madden NFL 13. It released, Madden NFL 13. It released a few days ago. There are many things that you like about it, and yeah. you certainly, at least from the videos that I saw of you, said that it was a huge improvement from Madden NFL 12. Can you talk a little bit about the changes plus the Infinity Engine? Sure. I mean, the big thing for me, right, is that I haven't been drawn to Madden in years. Like, I play it every year. I pop it in, play a few games. But what I had found year after year is that NCAA was doing way more exciting stuff, right? Like, in, in some of this doesn't come down to gameplay. A lot of it's presentation. And, like, NCAA got it early on that, you know, we're playing these video games because we want to have that feeling of watching a game on Saturday. So they have the ESPN wipes, and they have Brad, and they have Kirk Herbstreet out there, and everybody's talking, and there's all this pomp and circumstance. And then you play Madden, and Madden 12 especially was totally flat. It didn't look anything like a real game. Totally generic art comes up. They had really bad commentators. And now some, I can't, you know, it was Gus Johnson last year. Yep. Uh, you can't give it, give him too much tr in trouble. I mean, he's being coached in the booth on what to do. But his inflection was all wrong, and EA missed the boat on it. So, you know, you'd be punching a head on for, like, you uh, you know, two yards is all you need to get on this third down or whatever. And he'd be freaking out like he just, you know, punched it in to, to win the Super Bowl or something. <laughs> so there was all these little things that weren't working for Madden. Fires it in the end zone! To pass, and it's picked off! And it didn't feel like a real game, and it wasn't fun to play, and the players had those dead eyes, and there was no stadium noise, and it felt very sterile. You know what I mean? I, I described it to, to a friend once as, you know, this is what aliens think our, a football would be like. You know what I mean? If, <laughs> the, somehow they got a, a game beamed to them up in space, and they're like, oh, we can make this, and they'd make this, and there's no life to it. And then you get Madden 13, and it was like EA understood all that. They they totally went in, and they ripped out, like, you know, the Madden 12, it has all this pop music and rap music, and they went in, and they ripped all that out. They gave it this orchestral score to make it sound like NFL films, to make it sound like, you know, to give them, they actually have a Madden theme this year, you know, it actually sounds like Monday Night Football, you know, there's all these definitive themes and things we think about for football, and they went out and did that. So when games start now, there's, you know, the goofy intro of Jay Cutler, like, warming up and putting the ball out at the camera and all these little goofy things that are totally hokey and not needed, but they totally drive home the point that this is the NFL. This is football. Commentators are way better. They had Phil Simms ad lib, so he just rambles like Phil Simms really does, and you're like, okay, <laughs> this is into it. But then on the gameplay side, when you get down to actually playing on the ball, the big thing they added this year was the Infinity Engine. And basically what that means is, for the first time ever, Madden has real physics. Before, if you know your wide receiver and your cornerback jumped up for a ball and they collided in the middle in midair, they'd come down in the same spot they jumped from, right? Because it's all just animation based. Something happens, the game says, "Oh, I need to run this animation," and they run the same animation. Everything comes down. Mm -hmm. With in the Infinity Engine, basically, what's happened is, using stats and mathematics that I don't understand, uh, you can jump up to get the ball, collide with each other, and based on where you hit a person, how much you weigh, you know, how fast you're running, stuff like that, the animation is generated on the fly. So it's one of those things where people are hitting and tumbling over each other, you're getting helicopter hits, you're laying out wide receivers with these spears and getting them injured and stuff like that. And there's these big highlight moments like that that are really, really cool and you're like, oh my gosh, that was awesome. But then there's just the little things, right? Like, uh, you know, there's gonna be a halfback draw that doesn't go for any more than a yard and a half. But the way he bounces off a, bounces off a defensive end or, you know, the, or the way that he gets tackled or breaks a tackle, those are little things that are different. So that when you're playing the game, not every halfback draw feels the same, which is a huge improvement over Madden last year. Let me ask you this. You called last year's game in one of your reviews stiff and artificial. You hated the robotic announcers and you hated how they didn't make it look like it was on TV. Do now for the record, if, if I said hated, I, I didn't review Madden last year. This is just me spouting off at the mouth. I didn't really hate EA or the game. <laughs> okay, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But Thank let me, you. Let I, me I, ask I you this. Verbally, outside of a review. <laughs> let me ask you this. On defense, I love playing safety. And I know that it is totally cheesy because I let the computer rush the quarterback for me. But I'll be honest with you and anybody that I may play with, I'm horrible at rushing the quarterback. So I love playing yeah. safety. But let me ask you this. In past Maddens, I would always switch on to the defender who was trying to guard a deep ball from, let's say, for example, Calvin Johnson. So yeah. you, you could have Tillman running down the side, the sideline with Calvin Johnson. I would switch to him, and it would, the Tillman would possibly stop for one oh, moment. Yeah. You lose that step. That was a big problem. It's one of those things that you and I have been playing Madden for years. I am notorious now for never switching. I, you know what I mean? I run, I play on the defensive line. I try to get back there for the sack. And when I don't, I just let the computer do everything. Because I don't. Because years and years, what happens is, yeah, you switch back and try to be the cornerback. And when you switch, you take over and you lose a step. 
Yep. Because you'd be switching off the defensive line, so you'd be pressing down on the joystick, and then all of a sudden you'd switch over, where you'd be pressing up, and then that would happen. EA did it on both sides of the ball this year, because it was happening for me a lot as wide receiver too, right? Like you throw the ball, and then you want to take control of him to just give him a little bit more oomph, and when you do that, you lose that step and the ball's overthrown. Mm -hmm. EA did a thing this year where, yeah, if you're going to switch to those characters, they, it's, they, they didn't, it's not like they're letting you autopilot, or it's not a win button or something, but the delay in between you switching and then you taking control of that player gives you the chance to readjust and get there. You don't, you don't miss that step unless you weren't touching the stick at all. Greg, I got a few more questions for you. That's also great, by the way. Um, yeah, I know. It's something that, I mean, it's one of those things like, thank you for finally fixing that. That's one of the big <laughs> things about Madden NFL 13, right? There's all these things like, thank you for finally doing it. Thank you for finally putting physics in your game. You know what I mean? Like that, you know, there's a lot of haters of Madden. A lot of people want to talk a lot of crap about sure. it on the internet. And like, some of it is deserved that, you know, there are things like they're on a nine month development cycle. They're already working on Madden NFL 14. These guys can't you know, take a breath and step back and get to everything they want. And it was one of those things that this was the year where they were able to put all this in and fix it. And now you have to wonder what's going to happen next year. Well, I mean, the Infinity Engine's awesome. I'm more excited to see how they iterate on it two years down the line. Because right now, when you play, right, and you, there's all these cool hits and whatever, there's also then the play is blown dead, and they show, like, you know, the, the, then they stay on the what's happening on the field for a while. And that's when you see the Infinity Engine totally wig out, and, like, people are tripping over each other. And if, you're, if somebody's on the ground and somebody else is touching that person, that person on the ground won't move. So it looks like the wide receivers are dead all the time, and like cornerbacks are like pressing off their dead bodies to get up. It's really weird, but it's one of those things that I said in the review, right? You can't have the sweet without the sour. So I love the fact that this engine's there to make every run different, to make every pass play different. And so that's awesome, but then, yeah, you have to put up with these goofy little moments that are just more fun to make fun of with your friends. I got a few more questions for you, Greg. The connected careers is pretty intriguing to me. You can play yeah. as a, you can play as basically Barry Sanders, an NFL legend, or Jerry Rice, among many others. You can play as a fictional or non-fictional player. You can play as a coach and build up a team. Is this one of the best improvements you've seen in Madden? Yeah, I mean, what's awesome about Connected Careers is that it's unified. You know what I mean? Before, they had, they had these roles where you could go in and you could play as a player or you could play as a coach and do all these different things. But now it's totally that if you and I want to play and I want to, you know, I just want to be RG3, I can just be RG3 and you can be in charge of the Jets and we can have a 30-season career, you know, in the same universe, that same fictional NFL, where if we had to play, then I'm only playing offense and you're playing everything and it doesn't matter and we're able to jump around and exist in this world as friends connected you know still talking about it still you know fighting for the same championship and everything else but you know we get to do, have our own individual experiences and then of course if i get bored of being rg3 i can retire him and go be head coach i can retire that and start a new character i can retire that if you take over an existing character it's one of those things where ea really you know had all these really neat little tools and really neat little options and now they just put them all in one toy box and said all right go go ahead do whatever you want with them you mentioned NCAA football plenty uh, in a yeah. few of your reviews and even in this interview. So which game do you think is better, the new NCAA football game or Madden 13? I think for the first time in a long time, Madden's better than NCAA this year. I think it provides a much more exciting product. I think, you know, like I said, in, you keep quoting a, a video I did here at IGN where I paired uh, NCAA versus uh, Madden last year, the, the 2012 things, and I talked about you know, you know, how robotic Madden was and how there was more life to NCAA, and now you've seen a flip-flop on that. I think that, I mean, it's, it's the little things Madden does right this year that's, that are really amazing. The ambient noise of the stadium is so so good like it's so it's so rich and so thick and that you'll be playing and you'll you'll just hear that one girl off on the side like ah, blah, blah, blah. you know what i mean like <laughs> they they went and recorded real audio from games and they have it all ramp up and come down and then we were playing last night and we did random teams and i got the broncos and like i was calling audibles and my friends were blown away that it was really peyton manning's mo voice because madden went in i think they did like a dozen of the top qbs got their real voice their real calls from the nfl films and put them in there so that they sound like they should and you hear chatter and there's all these little things and then you go back to ncaa and that isn't the case, right? I mean, course. NCAA now has been surpassed in this presentation department. NCAA doesn't have the new physics engine, so it does feel a lot like last year's. NCAA's modes all feel a lot like last year's with the exception of Road for Glory, or Road for Heisman, their Heisman mode now, where you get to take over as one of these people who have won the Heisman and go like have superpowers pretty much and slow down time and be Barry Sanders and go through these huge holes, which is awesome, really cool, but Madden this year really stepped it up and said, you know, we're going to make the, I keep saying it's a unified NFL experience. We're going to make this feel like the NFL. And I think Madden's been lacking that for a long time. Madden, you put it in, and all of a sudden there's an Avril Lavigne song or some crazy rap you never heard of. And you're like, okay, cool. And then you're playing, but then you're doing this. And it's like, I don't know what the hell's going on. And now it's like, all right, you're this NFL quarterback. You're this NFL coach. Go practice. Earn experience. Make the experience your own. 
Let me ask you one more question. With Xbox, with the Connect, you can sync up your voice and call timeouts during the game. You can audible to different plays. Is it very, is it very accurate and pinpoint to the fact that if you say something, it will not mess up at all? There will be no flaws in it. Well, I mean, it's Connect. Like when I was testing it, right? Like I had it too close to the TV, so I'm like two inches away, going like Connect, timeout, and it was like nothing's happening. I'm like timeout, <laughs> Connect, there's nothing. But then uh, that was, you know, a balancing issue. I had to turn down the TV. I had to move it away from the TV and then go. And it works, but I mean, like, it's not to the point of where you're going to be like, you're playing and you're like, you see, you see, you know, a zone blitz coming in. So you're like, oh, you know what? I need Matt Forte. But, you know, like, it's very, it's very, it's, it's basically taking away the idea of hitting start and going through a menu to do what you need to do. Because basically what it is is, you know, you go audible. Yeah, well, basically, the little Connect logo's there. It's got all the, it's got the four things or five things you can call on the side. You'd say Audible, then your Audibles would open up next to that, and you'd say, you know, Hot Route this or whatever, and then that would open up. And then you're basically just doing the menus with your voice. So that's a cool option. It's, it is there if you have that technology. And it's one of those things that I'm really happy to see EA embrace and not shoehorn in. It would have been really easy for them to come out and be like, all right, yeah, and you want to throw the ball, you know, hike the ball and then do this and then throw where you want to throw and Connect's going to read where you're throwing. And that would never work. That would never work. And nobody would want to do that. Right. So they're like, all right, you have the damn thing plugged in. If you just want to say time out, if you just want to say challenge, go ahead. Greg Miller of IGN.com, I got one more question for you. Your final score out of 10 for this game, 1 through 10, what would it be? Give it a 9.0. 9, .0. 9, 9 .0. out of 10. A 90. All right. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, well, it was amazing <laughs> on the IGN scale, yeah. Is it, what, is the IGN scale, is that a little too tough? No, what do you mean? You said, you said that it was a little, on the IGN scale, it was good. So I'm saying, is that a... Is no, no, that no, no. A, no, 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 on the IGN scale, it's amazing. It's literally, a 9.0 9 is amazing on IGN scale. Okay, all right, very good. Greg Miller of IGN.com, a fellow Bears fan as well. We Bear really, down. really appreciate the time, and uh, we'll have you on again soon. Great, thank you so much.